hurry up, get out of bed. Jungle is the one like in the jungle. Giraffes are learning how to face Join the wildlife in the jungle The jungle is a wondrous sight Wild with every form Catch the rhythm, find the beat Hear the sound, feel the heat Out where it's rough and tumble It's a wildlife here in the jungle Little ones, it's time to wake up. A new day is beginning and there is much to do. Let's go, my sons. Up and at them, rise and shine. What does rise and shine mean, anyhow? All I know is I don't feel like rising or shining. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> who a wolfies? Is anybody home? Now who could that be this early in the morning? Who do you think? Good morning, Tabaki. What can we do for you? Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to say good morning. Unless perhaps you happen to have a scrap, a morsel that you don't want, that I could have for breakfast. Well, Tabaki, there are a few scraps left over from last night's dinner. Nothing, really. Thank you, friends. Scraps will do nicely. <laughs> scraps always do nicely for a jackal like Tabaki. Were you saving them for yourself, Pudgy? <laughs> All right, boys. If you want to play that way, you know where to do it. Come on, outside now, all of you. Simply marvelous scraps, my friends. I thank you. You have heard the news, I suppose. News? What news, Tabaki? About Shere Khan? Certainly you've heard. Don't toy with us, Jackal. Out with it! Shere Khan, he has returned. What does that lame old tiger want around here? Do not dismiss Shere Khan lightly, my husband. He may be lame and he may be old, but he is cunning and ruthless as well. If he is indeed returned to this part of the jungle, there is cause for concern. Not only has he returned, he has returned to hunt. But this is the domain of the wolf. Shere Khan has no business hunting here. And not only does he return to the domain of the wolf to hunt, but he hunts a very special prey. What special prey? Oh, maybe I shouldn't say. Tabaki. He hunts man. Man? But hunting man is forbidden by jungle law. Oh, I fear trouble. When an animal hunts man, it brings other men seeking revenge. And then there is nothing but trouble. My wife speaks the truth. How long has Shere Khan been hunting in these parts, Tabaki? And where is he now? How long, I do not know. I only know that he is even now stalking the woodcutter's camp less than a league from here. I know that voice. It is Shere Khan. For once, the jackal speaks the truth. What do you mean, for once? Shh. The tiger 
has missed his prey and has landed instead in the woodcutter's campfire. That bumbler Shira Khan, now he would be lame in more than one foot, at least for a while. He will be angry at his own clumsiness, and a lame, angry tiger is no one to fool with. Come, my sons, let us go inside for a while. Is there no way to convince Shira Khan to go back to his part of the jungle? I doubt it, friend wolf. You know that Shere Khan is a fierce and proud beast. He loves nothing better than to stir up trouble. Shh! Something is coming. Do you hear it? It sounds too small to be a tiger. Whatever it is, I must protect my family from it. Now! brave he is. A brave little naked frog. I shall call him Mowgli, the frog. What do you mean you shall call him? He is a man cub, not a wolf cub. He is not yours. He seems to think he is mine. Why shouldn't I keep him? He is brave, as brave as any wolf I've seen. Look how small and naked he is. I could destroy him with one swat of my paw, but he's completely fearless. <laughs> <laughs> Brave as can be is my frog boy, little Mowgli. Someone must care for him. But adopting a man cub, that is asking for trouble. Mother Wolf has spoken. If keeping him is asking for trouble, then I suppose we shall just have to provide an answer for that trouble. Besides, how much trouble could a little frog boy like him bring? <laughs> Shira Khan does us great honor with his uninvited visit. What do you want here? My prey! A man's cub wandered this way. I have frightened his parents off. Now he is mine. Give him to me! This is the wolf's domain, Tiger. We take orders from Akela, the head of the pack, not from some cowardly striped manhunter. The man cub is ours now. <laughs> You are far too big to enter our cave, beast with singed paws. Be gone before you get stuck in our doorway. Am I to lay here, wedged in your cave way, to argue with the children of dogs? Give me my prey. It is I, Shira Khan, who speaks. And it is I, the mother wolf, who answers you. The man's cub is mine, Shere Khan. He belongs to me now. He shall live with the pack, and one day, when he has outgrown his infancy, it is he, O oh cowardly hunter of naked cubs, who will hunt you. Now go, burned beast of the jungle, or I will send you back to your mother, lamer than you are even now! You heard the Lady Shere Khan. The man cub is ours. Be gone! We shall see what the pack says about this adopting of men's cubs. You must abide by the law of the pack, and they will agree that the cub is mine. In the end, I shall have him to enslave, or to eat, or to do with what I desire. Enjoy him while you can, O oh dog-tailed thieves. speaks at least this much truth. The cub must be shown to the pack. Will you still keep him? Keep him? He comes to me naked, alone, and without fear. And that lame butcher would have killed him and run off bringing men to the jungle to get their revenge. Keep him? Of course I will keep him. Then we shall show him to the pack at the next council meeting and see what shall happen to our little Mowgli. 
Well, Mowgli fits in even after only a few days. He is a smart one, I tell you. Yes, he is, and as strong as he is brave. Akela must give the man's cup to me. He is mine. I captured him from the brush, and I will have him for dinner. It is all well and good to want him, Shere Khan, but it is not for Akela alone to decide. Your dinner may be a little lighter than you planned. Then again, I'm sure you're right. You're always right, oh mighty warrior. <laughs> it is time to look over the new cubs and assess the future of the pack. Let the procession begin. Let the pack observe the future. Look well, oh wolves. Look well and choose. This man's cub who trails the line, he is mine. Give him to me. No one speaks for him, so he is mine. You have no rights at a council meeting, Shere Khan, and you know it. But you know the law of the jungle, and you know it well. Who speaks for this cub? If no one speaks for Mowgli, I will fight to the death for him. Mother, calm yourself. You know it must be two other than his parents who must speak, or else I would sponsor him myself. But it is the law, and we must obey. Akela, I don't belong to the pack, but since I am the teacher of the cubs, I do have a vote. There is no harm in adopting a man cub, and I've heard that they are very smart. Let them live and run with the pack. I'll teach them myself. That stupid bear, Baloo! How dare he speak for my prey! Calm down, your lordship. The naked one needs two to speak for him. He has only one vote so far. Is there another who will speak for this cub? Oh, most noble wolf pack. I am not of your kind, but I ask permission to speak freely here at your council meeting. Speak, Bagheera. Your words are welcome here. To kill a naked cub is a shame. Baloo has already spoken in his behalf. Now, I'll offer you one bull, a fat one at that, newly killed and not a half mile from here, if you will accept the man cub into the pack according to law. What do you say? Then it is done. The naked man's cub shall run and hunt with the pack. Mowgli! I do not know why you have voted to keep the man's cub, but the law is the law, and I must accept it. But I swear by the bull that bought him, the day will come when Mowgli the Frog is mine, all mine. And when that day comes, I shall hunt him down and kill him like the naked cub he is. We shall see who hunts who, Shere Khan. We shall see. Now watch as Mowgli demonstrates what I've just taught him, how to tell a dead branch from a live one. Up you go, little frog. Rotting wood, unsafe for climbing. My feet lighter than free 
Jungle's my home Living and loving the life I lead Everything I want and everything I need Just about as happy as I can be Loving the life I lead I can swim through the trees And land on the ground Know how to Never have to think, never alone. The jungle's my home. Living and loving the life I lead. Everything I want and everything I need. Just about as happy as I can be. Loving the life I lead. One I care about is very close to me. I could never turn my back, no, I could never leave. Living and loving the life I lead. Everything I want and everything I need. Just about as happy as I can be. Loving the life I lead. Look at him go. He runs like a gazelle. He flies through the trees like the Banderlog monkeys. Let's just hope he doesn't learn how to make mischief like those monkeys do. <laughs> oh, he's such a noisy one. I just cannot get him to move through the jungle in silence. He will learn, Baloo. You are a good teacher. He will learn. I gotta tell you, Bagheera, he's the best student I ever taught. He learns quickly and remembers well. he disappeared to. Boo! <laughs> All right, little Mowgli. Let's hear the master word of our lion brothers. <coughs> Which means? We are of one blood, you and I. Very good. Now, the master word of the snake? Correct. Now the kite? We are of one blood, you and I. <laughs> Why do you always chase away the monkeys? I like them. They're funny. You must not associate with the Banderlog monkeys, little brother. They are forbidden to the jungle creatures. But why? The Banderlog are sneaks, thieves, and liars, Mowgli. They have no laws among their tribe. The monkeys boast and brag that they are the cleverest in the jungle, but their boasting is empty and their bragging hollow. But I like them, and they like me. Bagheera is right, Mowgli. The Banderlog are the sneakiest, most conniving little furballs in the jungle. You must not associate with them. What do you mean, they like you? You have been speaking with them? Well, only once or twice. But why shouldn't I speak to them? Are not all the beasts of the jungle my brothers? The Banderlog are not of the jungle, Mowgli. They live above the jungle floor, in the trees. It is forbidden for you to associate with them. But I don't understand. I don't understand at all. <laughs> We are one blood, you and I! 
for nothing, sneaks. They better not hurt my little buddy. Why, I'm gonna... Snap Ooh. out of it, Baloo. What would the jungle think if I, the Black Panther, curled up and howled like a porcupine? What do I care what the jungle thinks? Those thieves got our Mowgli. He may be dead by now. No, Baloo, you have taught him well. Mowgli can take care of himself. Now, let us be off to find an ally to help us rescue him. An ally? We must find Ka, the rock python. Excellent idea. He is the one beast that the monkeys fear most, and with good reason. But what if Ka will not help us? He will, if you will keep quiet and let me do the talking. Are you saying that I talk too much? Is that what you're saying? Because if it is, Bagheera, I protest your accusation. I know how to hold my tongue. Oh, my poor Mowgli, why did I let him get kidnapped? How could I have not protected him? There he is. We're in luck. Ka looks hungry. Be quiet, Baloo, and let me do the talking. There you go again, hinting that I talk too much. I... Okay, you do the talking. Hail to you, Ka. And hail to you, Bagheera. What brings you here to the domain of the serpents? We look for our little brother, Mowgli. Ah, the man cub. I have dreamt of him often. If he were not a brother of the wolf pack, I would have snapped on him long ago. That is merely snake humor, Baloo. Calm down. And where is your brother, Bagheera, that you search so far from your own domain for him? He has been stolen by the Banderlog monkeys. Those wretched monkeys! Liars and sneaks, all of them! They have no proper respect for the beasts of the jungle! I have heard them dare to call me names, the vermin! Footless yellow earthworm. What did you call me? Not I, Ka. The monkeys called you that when we told them you would help us avenge the kidnapping of our brother. They called me that? That, and also fat, slow, legless caterpillar. They shall eat those words, and then I shall eat them. Please, I pray you, let us be off. I have not eaten for a fortnight and could use a little monkey snack. Bagheera! I've been looking everywhere for you. I bring news from Mowgli. Mowgli? Is he all right? For the moment, but the monkey folk are taking him to the cold lairs, and who knows what will happen to him there. Well, now we know where our prey is. Let us be off. Thank you for the message, Chill. I could do no less. He spoke the master word. Amazing for a man cub. Did you hear that? He spoke the master word. I told you he would be all right, didn't I? That's what having a good teacher will do for you. Now let's go before it's too late. Are we going together or do I travel alone? We can travel faster than you can, Baloo. Catch up with us as quickly as you're able. He spoke the master word. That's my boy. so long until he learns some manners. If he lives that long. <laughs> Death to those who take one of the sea any pack! 
A leader who is strong and brave, a leader like myself. You are right about Akela, Shere Khan, but you are not a wolf. You have no rights here. I see. So you will continue to follow a spineless leader, one who lets a man cub live among you like a brother. But we can do nothing about Mowgli. He lives and hunts among us. Then give him to me. I will see to it that he lives and hunts among you no longer. Here you are, little brother. Hi, Bagheera. Good hunting to you. When it comes to hunting, it is not I, but Shere Khan that should consume your thoughts, Mowgli. Shere Khan? Has that lame coward returned? More than just returned. He turns the young wolves against you, and against Akela as well. Have no fear, Bagheera. The young wolves will never turn on Akela, as long as he's their leader. Precisely, little one, Akela grows old. Soon he will attack the buck and miss. Then he will be their leader no more. Don't worry, Bagheera. Akela may be old, but he's still strong. Yes, but when he misses the buck, the pack will be without a leader. It is then that Shere Khan will strike. You must prepare for that day. Prepare? How? You must go to the man's village. Man's village? But it's forbidden. It is forbidden for the jungle creatures, but you are a man-cub. You can come and go unnoticed. And what should I do there? You have seen their pots, the ones that glow with red heat. You must take one of their pots, hot with coals, and bring it back quickly. I will wait for you here. But... Go! There is not much time. I only hope that there is time enough. I should not have sent him alone. I got it, Bagheera! You look fr 
frightened, brother. What's wrong? Bridge is uh, nothing, little frog. Now, quickly, you have much to learn. You must use the heat carefully, Mowgli, for it can rage out of control if not watched closely. I understand, Bagheera. But it is a most powerful weapon. Use it wisely, and it will serve you well. Hmm. Your self-satisfied sneer can only mean one thing to Baki. You are right, wise Bagheera. Akela has missed the buck. He is no longer the leader of the pack. You are hereby summoned to Council Rock, Mowgli. The Wolf Brothers are waiting to turn you out of the pack. <laughs> At last, Shere Khan will be rewarded for years of patience. Your new weapon, little frog. Use it now. And this is your reward, Jackal, for being servant to the evil Shere Khan. I do not understand, Bagheera. The wolves are my brothers. I alone can remove the thorns from their paws. Why do they want to turn me out? Look me in the eye, Mowgli. That is why, little brother. The others hate you because their eyes cannot meet yours. They hate you because you are wise, because you can pull the thorns from their paws, because you are a man. I can't help what I am. Come, little brother. Let us go to the rock and bring the fire pot with you. Akela has missed his buck. I was tricked and you know it. It matters not why, only that you have missed. Now you cannot be leader. My brothers and those jackals among you who follow Shere Khan, for 12 years I've been your leader. Now I have missed my kill, and it is your right to kill me. Who among you will claim the honor of killing a gala? Bah! Why should we bother with a toothless old dog like a gala? He will die soon enough. It is the man cub who lives too long. There is the man cub! He does not belong among you. Give him to me! He is rightfully mine! He has eaten among you. He has hunted among you. He has broken no laws of the jungle, yet now you would kill him? No, no, he is not one of us! Cast him out! Cast, cast him out. out! And I paid for his life ten years ago with a bull. A bull ten years gone! What do we care about ten-year-old bones? He is a man! He must be destroyed! Enough! I won't listen to this jabber anymore! You have said I was a man often enough! Then listen to the man, you dogs! Listen to me! You say I am a man? Then cower before me! You are my brothers no more! I stand on two legs while you crawl upon four! And I have thumbs to pull out thorns from your pathetic paws! Back away, miserable curs! Mowgli the man commands you, and you must obey like the dogs you are! <laughs> There goes your brave leader. As for me, I leave you all gladly. Your brotherhood has been a lie all along. I hate you all! I don't want to leave the jungle, but I can't stay here. What is this, Mother? Am I dying? No, my son, you are not dying. These are only tears. Animals do not cry, but you are a man. Let your tears fall, little Mowgli. And when you are done, you must go to live among your own kind. You must go to live among men. It was right here that he appeared from nowhere. He was not there one moment, and the next moment he was. The boy obviously fell asleep and had a nightmare. I was not sleeping. It was a boy, I tell you, a naked boy from the jungle. There, that's him. See, I told you. What 
does he want? I think he's hungry. He is the same age that the child snatched from Masua ten years ago would be. Can it be? Can it be that what the jungle has taken, the jungle has returned to us? It's true. This is my son come back to me. Oh, my son, my son. This is a cup. Cup. Clever boy. Bread. Bread. Bed. Lie down. Go to sleep. 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 Where are you going? To sleep. I suppose you can't be expected to be civilized in one night. If you're more comfortable sleeping outside, then so be it. Good night, my son. Welcome home. Home. I always believed in forever That each day would follow the last I always assumed that my future would somehow connect with my past But here in this world full of strangers Far from family and no I've never been quite so confused And I've never felt so alone Where do I belong? Where do I fit in? I'm searching so I won't feel so out of place A giving heart to take me in Who stand by me through thick and thin Oh, where, oh, where do I belong? I need someone Who believes in me And doesn't want to change Mowgli, you mustn't help the peasant girl. Not help her? Why? She is beneath your station. She is a peasant. You are the son of a landowner. I don't understand. She's standing right here next to me. So how can she be beneath me? It simply isn't done. Maybe not before Mowgli came, but now it is done. The fiercest beast of the jungle is Shere Khan, the mighty tiger. In reality, he is a spirit who inhabits the body of the beast, and he appears lame to lure unsuspecting mortals close to him. <laughs> you speak nonsense! What? You dare insult me, jungle boy? I mean no disrespect, but you make me laugh. Shere Khan is no spirit. He limps because he's clumsy and forever getting caught in traps laid by men like you. Oh, Mowgli, Mowgli, when will you learn some respect? 
You cannot address me like that. It's a little late for that, old man. I already have. You are not fit to associate with the rest of the village. You may take the herds out from now on, where you can practice your insults on the cattle. Fine with me. on your banquet of grass. is well for us, little brother, but I fear perhaps not so for you. Oh, living among the humans isn't so bad. It is not humans of which I speak. It is Shere Khan. He has been stalking you for days. He awaits you in the ravine to attack you when you return to the village with your cattle. Is that so? It is so. I am here to warn you. But if Shere Khan waits for me, I will not disappoint him. You have a plan? The beginnings of one. Listen. In less than an hour, I shall eat the meal that I have waited more than ten years to taste. <laughs> Did I not tell you that Mowgli would someday hunt Shere Khan? That you did, Mother. I have never been more proud of one of my sons. Best student I ever taught. So now, Sioni Pak, do you see who has vanquished Shere Khan? Shall we not welcome back our brother Mowgli and beg his forgiveness for our foolishness? <laughs> It's been a long time since you turned your back on Akela. You have been without a leader ever since. But it's not my place to lead you. You are wolves and I am a man. Wolves must be led by a wolf. If he is willing, let Akela lead you once again. Akela, 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 Akela. Yes, my brothers, I will lead you once again. Perhaps now we're Shere Khan dead, we can live in peace with the other jungle creatures. Your generosity and dignity speak well of the CNE pack, Mowgli. And you are wiser by far than your years. But I sense something in you has changed since you lived among your own kind. Are you able to live here with us, your wolf brothers, as you once did? Stay here and live with us again? You must remember, little one, that 
Mowgli was cast from the pack. Returning was easy. Sometimes forgiveness takes more time. Sound 